Um, so with this one, this one's a little bit clearer. Uh, you can see like the texture detail on the ground like literally loses detail. Like it's all detailed here. You can see like little tiny like specks in the ground, stuff like that. Beyond this line, like that's where the front screen projection is. And that's this idea. Like this one's close. This one's really close to the front screen projection, which is a lot of what Kubrick was doing. Uh, he had like his actors only several feet in, uh, next to the front, next to the scotch light. Uh, so again, here you can kind of see uh, that like the texture in the ground here is kind of lost once it gets into this part because this part's just a screen here. So you can kind of see the textures there and stuff like that, and there's like this little subtlety where it just kind of like stops, and that's this idea that literally like here that's flat ground, and from here to here that's a that scotch light screen, so that's like going up on a 90 degree angle from where the ground is there. Um, and again, like just going back to this, like you can see like that's. What it looks like there, it looks absolutely believable here. It's kind of the same thing. It looks believable, but until someone kind of points it out to you and says what it might be, suddenly you kind of see things a little differently. Uh, just as like, uh, even like, that's kind of an example for like, kind of like, it, like that's kind of how the mind works, right? Like the mind, like, until someone sees something, they might not even know it's there. Like, for example, uh, this is just kind of funny because I saw this the other day, the FedEx logo. How many people knew that there was an arrow inside the FedEx logo? It is right there, right? I mean, like that's the idea. Like, like I, I until like I like saw that because like someone's just like I saw like a face group book for it. I was just like, really? And then I was like, oh shit, there it is. Because I wasn't looking for it, but I mean, it's obviously blatant. And I mean, it's not like it was hard to miss. I just wasn't looking for it, you know? Yeah, so Ben just learned something. There you go. Um, so, okay, so so far, does anybody have any quote unquote challenges? <laughs> So, <laughs> 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 about the uh, Scotch Bright screen. If um, a lot of that equipment is metal, it's probably pretty reflective. Wouldn't it be shining back a little more like the uh, cat's eyes? Like off the space landing equipment and stuff yeah. like that? Theoretically, it could be. Um, but at the same time, if they had like actual like set lighting, it could have just like illuminated the metal enough so that like any subtleties coming through the Scotch light weren't bouncing back. So, I mean, if it's just a gray scale image, it would just kind of blend in with the natural lighting shone on it. Like, uh, it, it'd be, I, I know what you're saying, um, yeah. it'd be hard to see any subtle reflections there and distinguish them from reflections given off by the projection and the reflections that are theoretically just like ambient light. Um, let me just see what else I got here. So again, so this one's kind of interesting just in the sense that you can see like these rocks are here. Like there's like all these rocks here and then like suddenly like just like beyond this like line right here, there's no rocks. And it's just like why why are there any rocks? And again, like um let me just see what I got here. So this one, so like this one's even like you can literally see like there's just like this like could that be a hill? Yeah, it could be a hill. It could be up on the moon, it could be a little like slope in the ground, or it could literally be like where the set ends and the scotch light begins, like it's up to you to decide, right? Um, but at the same time, another thing that I was talking about earlier with the uh, depth of field, uh, that's the exact same situation that's occurring here. Um, there is no loss of depth of field on these shots of the moon, which is something very quote unquote suspicious, right? Because uh, I mean, if they're shooting up on the on the moon, like depth of field is something any good photographer always has to worry about. Like when you're, especially when you're working with like 70 millimeter lens or something like that. Uh, here, there doesn't really seem to be any problem with like depth of field and stuff like that. Like even like these mountains seem to be like fairly in focus and stuff like that. So it's this idea that like those mountains are in high resolution because they're projected during scotch onto the scotch light, and these are uh, in focus simply because that's where the cameras is focused upon. So again, it's kind of interesting. Um, and let me see what else I got here. Oh yeah, here's, a, here's some uh, interesting footage of uh, the strings that you can see on top of the astronauts' packs. Oh look, light reflected off the string. It's because they're using like pulleys and making them jump, so it looks like they're like zero gravity. So uh, not zero gravity, but low gravity. Um, I'm just showing this just to kind of like add on top of it, right? So that's the thing. Like I'm not saying this on my own. Like there's a lot of people who kind of looked into this. Like, and there's like there's a lot of information that like Kubrick was like this is real like this is just how it was and again not to say they haven't been to the moon but it wouldn't have hurt them to have made this simply because they could have made this simply because they're the government and they do crazy crap like this all the time you know <laughs> um so yeah does anybody else have any challenges or just like general questions like i want to know like what are your guys opinions do you like are any of you just like uh, it's yeah you think so dave 
What do you think, Dan? I don't know, like, I mean, I tend to believe that they meant to the move. But, like, at yeah. the same time, like, it's hot. No, no, no. But, like, uh, I don't know. It, it could be done this way. Like, it, it, it's, it's a solid, it's, there's solid points made. It's just, yeah. it, it's like, it's hard to say because it, like, until somebody actually comes out and really says something, oh, yeah. it's more than just like some kind of conspiracy thing. Well, you can, like, people can break things down pretty easily, like, yeah. a lot of stuff. It's interesting um, just how, like, recently, it's like back in the summer, maybe, in, I can't remember when exactly, but they lost the original Apollo footage. They taped over it. Like, literally, that's what they said. They accidentally, like, taped over the original footage of the moon landing. Which is just like, really? Like, how, how the hell did NASA accidentally do that, right? So now, like, there's no evidence, quote unquote, left. Like, I don't know, it's funny, right? And I mean, again, like, obviously, like you said, like, until NASA comes out and says this, we can't be certain. And again, it's not like we never went to the moon, but it's interesting considering the fact that we haven't gone back since. You know, like in case you guys didn't realize that, like we haven't been back to the moon in quite some time. So, <coughs> don't worry, we'll get back there eventually. We have unmanned. Sorry. We have apparently unmanned. Yeah, yeah. It's not about like Troy, like probes and stuff like that up there. See, initially when they were faking it, they were gonna have Bigfoot on. Them. <laughs> <laughs> but they thought that was a little bit too far, so they just they pulled it back. Yeah. What's your thought? I've heard the conspiracy theories before. Yeah. I don't know, floating. Yeah. I, I think, I, I think it's possible for either way. Well, absolutely. I mean, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's interesting considering the fact that it's there. And I mean, that's really what you got to see this as. Like, see it as information, guys. Like, I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just showing you the information and letting you guys decide for yourself, you know? So. Ben, are you convinced? Ben? Yeah? Ben's convinced. All right, there you go. Uh, do you have a write-up for me? I told you I was going to. Oh, that's right. You yeah? Know. Okay. All right, no more questions. Dave, you good? Yeah, I don't believe it. All right, okay. <laughs> Dave's just going to keep on thinking like that. We're good. All right. <laughs> All right, thanks let's, a lot. Let's take a quick break. Let's start up at 10 after and do the last three presentations. <laughs> that was jokes. Oh well. Congrats. That was <laughs> funny. Video out. Yeah, video out.